Hey everybody, Steph here. I'm the secret slob and today is the last day of our big self-isolation spring clean, deep clean series. We have made it all the way through every single zone. Zone five was a little short, I'll give you that, but we made it all the way and next week starts a brand new week back in zone three. So I hope you join me for the whole series or even part of it and got a few things done in your house that maybe you've been neglecting for a while. I know I certainly have. I wanted to make sure you remember, keep your list handy all the time, check off what you finished, and then when you come back to it next month, just start with the things you haven't done yet. You don't have to get the whole zone done in the week, or if you get it all done, well, you can take the rest of the week off, so lucky you. The nice part is you're touching every part of your house regularly, just a little bit, and you're avoiding having to do those huge, long marathon cleans like some of us do in the spring, or I know even I used to do them on the weekend, like a five hour clean that would just burn me right out. So today we're finishing up in zone number two, the kitchen. I've got my fridge done, my cabinet fronts and kick plates done. Yesterday I did my pantry, which isn't technically on my zone cleaning list, but I felt like it was necessary, so it was a good thing to get done. And today I'm gonna move on. I'm hoping to get my windowsills done and my windows, because spring is coming and I wanna let that sunshine come right in. And my other goal is to get my hood vent done. So we'll see, hopefully I can get some of that checked off. Last thing, before we start, a few weeks ago I did a Q&A and it was super fun and it was super successful, so I want to do another one as we end this zone cleaning series. So tomorrow, which is April the 11th, where I live, I'll do, I will come on in the morning to catch as many of you as possible and we'll do a live Q&A. So you can ask me anything you wanna know about Fly Lady System, the way I apply it to my life, having little kids at home during self-isolation or zone cleaning or just anything you wanna know. And I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. If you think you can't make it to the live tomorrow, just throw your questions below in the comments and I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. So live stream Q&A tomorrow. I hope you join me. Bring your coffee if it's morning for you. Bring your cocktail if it's evening. Whatever works, come in your jammies. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So let's get started. Last day in zone number two, kitchen. I'm gonna get as much done as I can and then put my feet up for the weekend. All right, last day in the kitchen and I'm gonna try and get some of the greasy spots done. I never notice how bad my kitchen is, same, to, same as my cupboards. I never notice until I get in there. But all of these window sills and all around the windows had grease on them because you're cooking in there every day and especially these ones that are right beside the stove. So I'm just cleaning them off really good. I did pull the screen out. This is the only window in our house where the screen's on the inside and I'm using the lint roller to just clean it off. I will probably shower them or hose them off outside later in the summer, but for now, that's pretty good. So I'm also just gonna clean my knickknacks and move on to that hood vent. For this, I'm actually using an all-purpose bleach cleaner that I bought in the wake of the coronavirus crisis, but it works really well. And because my kids aren't with me, I figured, hey, this is the perfect time to use it because that hood vent was greasy. I pulled the hood, I don't even know what these things are called. I pulled those things out and put them in the sink to soak with soapy water and I'll come back and clean those later. Moving on to the second window and I'm just wiping all the outside down with my soapy water mixture, spraying the window with my vinegar water mixture and I'm not using that all-purpose cleaner for anything else, but it worked really well on that hood vent. It's so nice to get these windows cleaned finally and get some sunlight coming into the house. It makes it so much nicer. I'm gonna try and get this last window done in my kitchen. And so same thing, just wiping all the way around the outside. That trim around the window is quite dirty because the sink is there and lots of stuff splashes up onto it. And then the window as well had lots of little water marks just from doing the dishes right there all the time. I'm gonna clean off these screens. I'm just gonna call them screens and they got way cleaner, but it was gross and they smelled really, really bad. But I just used hot soapy water and a cloth and then I set them to dry on the drying rack. I'm sure I could buy new ones if I needed to, but this is good enough for now. Okay, so I'm all done. That was one of the grossest things I've ever done. It seriously smelled like a fast food restaurant and greasy old hamburgers. Uh, it was nasty, but it's done and that's great. So I got a bunch of stuff done in my kitchen this week. I'm so thrilled. And I really feel like this whole series has been really successful in getting me back into doing my zones and I hope it has for you too. Remember, it doesn't end here. We just start again next week going into zone number three, which for me is my bathrooms, which is where I started. And because I've been doing them now, 
it won't take nearly as long to wipe out the shower, the bathtubs, everything like that. And hey, if you do get through your list before the week is up, you are done. Nobody's coming to assign you more things to do. So remember, zone cleaning works because you do a little bit every single day and that little bit adds up as opposed to procrastinating and waiting for a whole year to do spring cleaning, which can be a huge chore. Just do a little bit, enjoy having a clean house all year long and avoid those crazy weekend or spring marathon cleans that, I mean, they can be enjoyable, but they are exhausting. And I look, so thank you so much. So thank you so much for joining me for this series. I, so thank you so much for joining me for this, <laughs> I spat. All right, so that's it for this series. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been especially helpful for me during this time of self-isolation where I really feel like if I didn't have these routines and this accountability, I'd probably just sit around in my pajamas all day and get nothing done. So it feels really good to get this done and I hope you feel the same way too. I will see you very soon. Bye.